Welcome, this is the energy vibration. Full moon reading for the water sign. You water sign. Okay. So, um, all right. Um, good news um, for the water sign people. I have um, changed up the reading. It's for everyone. So, I've changed up the reading and the extended reading for the May water sign people are out okay so it's a free gift to um you water sign people um the extended reading for the month of may june it is now out so this is good this is wonderful let's get in and see what's happening so this full moon reading is is from the 15th of june until the 15th of july and i want to say to each and every person um thank you for supporting my channel thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration that you have sent me um, this new deck is good because it has all 12 houses so we will know what is going on in all of your 12 houses I have definitely give up um, the any the other um, layout of reading I give it as a gift up to you guys um, because I've changed up the old energy vibration of the full moon reading because um, the angels and guides wanted something else we need to get in information about your 12 houses okay this reading is for the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. I want to say thank you for supporting my channel, but please like and share these videos. Thumbs up. Um, there is um, the layout of uh, um, the extended reading is very good because it shows you what you're missing because a lot of people are saying that there are more information that is coming in from the moon reading. And this is the reason why I have given you guys like a taste of what the extended reading has to give so okay now we're working with uh, um the 12 houses so we're going to be having a lot of information that is coming out with the energy of the 12 houses and we're going to be looking in all of this so let's see what is happening and what is transpiring this is good this is wonderful um whatever the issue is and whatever that is transpiring we are going to be um checking out Please like share this video subscribe 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 leave a message about this reading let us see which one you choose if you choose the first one or the first format or the second format with all 12 houses so we're calling in on the angels and guides um, to come in for the water sign the Pisces cancer and scorpion to see what is coming up for the full moon so in the first house the first house is the self and we have the energy of mercury coming up in the first house so mercury is all about communication okay and um in each and every house is because um you water sign or the pisces the cancer and the scorpion okay and the pisces you guys are just so wonderful because um you work with neptune and cryon which is a the healing okay this is wonderful because what is transpiring and what is happening is that um the scorpion has the um works with pluto and whenever the scorpion whenever you guys have anything to do with the scorpion the scorpion like rebels through your life well, mercury is communication but it also has to do with jupiter and there is where we are going to be focusing on all these houses um to see because um to see where you are and what is happening in your house um you know the first house is the house of this the the aries and it is also um the house of uh, um elin cryon um affect you pisces or you pisces work with a crayon okay scorpio is the eighth house okay and the eighth house is intimacy so the scorpions is adjoined to the eighth house the eighth house is uh, um intimacy so you guys need to um remember so if you are a scorpion um you are in the eighth house the pisces are in the ninth house with the sagittarians which um pisces can bring you luck sometimes they work in the ninth house they have the ninth house scorpions is also in the first house so the scorpions you're in the first and the eighth house 
so whatever happens in the first and the eighth house it's going to affect the scorpions okay the first and the eighth house whatever happened in the first and the eighth house is going to affect the scorpions for the cancers you are in the fourth house and the fourth house is about the roots is about family and that's why scorpions have all these energies about the family okay because the scorpions are really about family it's about the roots it's about who you are as an individual um, so the four hours for the scorpion is just so powerful and the magnificent thing with the with the Pisces is that the Pisces are very mis mysterious and they are in the 12th house with the Capricorns also which is so wonderful and that's why I understand why Pisces and Capricorns can get along so well because they share the 12th house um, with the Capricorns which is just unbelievable so Pisces are all over the place in the sense that the Pisces are the healers um, they're in so many different house and they share the different house with the different mutual signs okay and I, and, I, and the Scorpio is uh, um, As the eight hours of yeah intimacy it's the animal instinct within you okay so and it, it's just so strange because I'm laughing but I'm not supposed to really laugh but the, the Pisces the, the, the scorpions OMG okay definitely um, the cancer share only one house and that is the fourth fourth house of family roots where you're from that sort of an issue so there we are so remember your houses as we go along i will remind you so let's see what's coming up for the water zodiac sign the second house um we have the aries third house we have preparation that's neptune fifth house we have the capricorn um fifth house um we have the pisces six house we have jupiter seven house we have relaxation then we have the eight house intimacy oh ninth house we have the virgos virgos came up Ten house, we have the Taurus. So you're working with a lot of earth sign. Eleven house, we have the Scorpion. Twelve house, we have the Sagittarian. Okay, so I just opened my gate, so I gotta let someone in. I refuse to stop this reading because I have to get through this reading okay so you'll hear someone come in okay so um, all right so when we're looking at the energy of the full moon there it's just such a lot that is going on you guys have the two four five out of the 12 houses you have five out of the 12 houses you have like planetary aspect okay planetary aspect so okay we are first going to be looking at the the first house now the first house is the self and with the energy of the self there's a lot of communication okay so um, you could be working with yourself physical body you could be making changes um, it's all about yourself it's all about connecting with yourself and it's all about communication and it's all about you learning to communicate you um, letting people know what you think where you are um, whatever position what is happening perception um, and it's all about the self and you are basically aligning yourself with certain sort of energy and understanding where you are but yet still you are connecting with yourself it's as if you are um, 
um, communicating more in the self that you are letting people know where they stand around you which is very good there's nothing wrong with it it's perfect because that is what that needs to happen then in the second house the second house is all about um, your assets it's all about what you have it's all about the materialistic world it's all about everything that is happening around you basically and some of you are dealing with an Aries in your life where this person is taking you for granted basically and it is radical that you're going to be releasing this person okay you could be connecting with an Aries and you're realizing what is transpiring with this Aries and you're going to just um, think to let this relationship go or let this person go or you are going to be taking on the energy of the Aries and this is with your materialistic needs because some of you could be finding out that you're with the Aries and all they want is just money or they just feed off you materialistic and you're going to decide I want to end this relationship okay so um, that's what you have where you're ending um, this sort of an issue because it has to do with your materialistic world and it's as if this person is only with you because of money then we have the energy of the perception and the energy of the perception is about how the world sees you how you sees the world and the surroundings around you okay and it's as if you're dreaming oh, the door is open and as if you're dreaming okay whatever is happening is as if you're in a dream world so um, it's, it's as if you're working with the energy of the it's as if you're working with the energy of the Capricorns being in really really a dream world okay so you got to be careful um, whenever it comes up to posi um, position um, it is the, th the third house and everyone look at life in different ways so this is where it's coming up okay so you're dealing you're dreaming and it's always the energy of the Pisces that Pisces people just dream they're always in this dream state so is the perception of the world but you're dreaming so um you need to understand that then we look at the fourth house the fourth house is a, is the house of roots now the fourth house can have to do with your home and all these issues around you and you're dealing with a capricorn okay so this capricorn could be your wife or someone who you're married to or this capricorn is very ambitious you could be get in um like you could be working with this Capricorn whoever this Capricorn is you could be working with this Capricorn so um, the fourth house is always the roots and it's always about you understanding what is happening what is transpiring and it's like um, the fourth house is like you could be finding out that this Capricorn um, you're working with this Capricorn or whatever the issue is okay so whatever the, the issue is in the fourth house it has to do with roots some of you could find out that a capricorns that you're seeing um is connected to your roots or you have known them from a past lifetime it's all about self-care and that sort of an issue that is coming up so there we are then we look at the fifth house now the fifth house is fashion fifth house the pisces are in the passion so whatever the issue is and whatever that is transpiring the Pisces are in the passion now we don't know exactly what to do uh, but definitely the Pisces you guys are going to be very passionate some of you will be connecting with the Pisces in the world of passion okay so it will be bam 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 you'll be doing a lot of stuff together you'll be happy doing this because you'll be working together collaborating together and bringing out the passion in your life and this is going to be fantastic so don't worry about it it's good when the Pisces are in the passion house it's it's like time to have fun now um, the sixth house is creativity so if you are a creative person um, whatever you're creative is going to make a lot of money okay so if you create things if you're a creative person whatever you're creative um, uh, this is going to affect you in a lot of ways okay because the creative whatever you decide to create is going to bring you a lot of money okay Jupiter is going to open up 
opportunities doors of opportunities and it's going to bring you a lot of money so this is going to be good then we have the energy of Pluto and we have the seven house of relaxation now the seven house of relaxation is very very positive the seven house of relaxation there is going to be transformation okay so some of you could be going out on vacation um, some of you are definitely going to be going out on vacation some of you are going to be connecting with past love some of you are going to be traveling um, vacation is coming up but this is like a really passionate um, this is like um, reconnecting with friends family past friends are uh, meeting new people and that sort of an issue and this is going to be good okay then we have the eight house and the eight house is the house of intimacy this is going to be good because a lot of people are going to be healing um, in the eight house of intimacy it's about sex it's about the connection of you with another person it's about the intimacy it's about how you deal with each other on an intimate level and there is some healing that is going to be coming in because what what, what is happening is that cryon the planet of healing is going to be coming in your eight house and this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be positive it's going to be good what is going to be happening is that you're going to be healing all um, intimate issues okay so it is a time if you were abused as a child it is time to do healing because if you were abused as a child now you're going to be doing a lot of healing in your life so this is going to be very very good and very very positive so um if you were abused sexually it is the time to do healing um however way because if you're you're in the eight hours of intimacy is coming up with healing so you heal like past issues if you were abused if you um abuse sex or that sort of a thing now is the time to do the healing and that is in the eight hours eight hours is always the house of intimacy now if you look at the nine hours the nine hours is the house of the sagittarian and it is the house of looking for inner wisdom and guidance now you have the virgos which is good um um it's it's, it's um it's really good because having the virgos in the night house of you looking for inner wisdom and guidance this is just so powerful it's so positive um this is the first time that the virgos came up the taurus the taurus and the capricorn came up but the virgos came up in your reading and you guys also have the energy of the capricorns coming up in your reading which is just so powerful because it's a full moon reading and what is happening is that as you go looking for um or seeking inner wisdom true spirituality then you have the virgos you're working with the virgos and this is just going to be powerful what is happening is that the scorpions and the virgos are really connected um the virgos and the scorpions can be in a very very good relationship if you want um, and it is it is a time where I guess a lot of people are trying to find out who they are connected with and the Virgos and the Pisces connected but the Virgos and the scorpions I think because a lot of people write write books and said the Virgos and the Pisces connect but I think it's the Virgo and the scorpions connect and the Pisces is connected to the Capricorns because here the ninth house is the house of seeking and the, the house of seeking is the Pisces but it's the house of the Sagittarian so with the Virgos coming in they're helping you to seek inner wisdom and guidance it can be inner wisdom it can be the Virgos or teaching you something about metaphysism it's about rituals um this sort of a thing about healthy indulgent so you know choose the house it is there the tent house is the tent is a house of repetition it's all about your repetition in the world and it's a bombshell because the tauruses come in this is just so powerful for this full moon because what is happening is that your water sign and all the earth signs are coming in to work with you guys now the tent the tent house is one of the most powerful house and the tent house is where your repetition comes up and the Taurus is whoever these Taurus is are they're really really going to be supporting you and helping you to you know have a good repetition because the Tauruses are earth signs okay they're pleasure seeking 
and you guys can be pleasure seeking especially when you're working together this is going to be good so connect with the Tauruses because their repetition already good and they're going to be helping you um, to heal your repetition so it is um, basically good for this house then we look at the 11th house and the 11th house has to do with coming to the edge now whatever the issue is some of you are going to be really at your last weight it could be you scorpions at your last weight so you scorpions um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn you both are going to be at your last with with each other whatever the issue is you need to resolve this issue because you're coming at each other in very very bad ways okay so um, coming to the edge meaning you're just so pissed off you will blow your top and you um, Scorpio need to um, Oh, um, keep your it's as if you scorpions can just fly um, the handle and you need to keep calm because the Taurus the, the Sagittarians and the Capricorns are the same way and they're in the same house so be aware of this um, you scorpions and you scorpions can fly your edge and you, you know then that is when when you scorpion begin so oh to do then um, it is the time where the animal instinct comes up where the scorpion energy comes out and you can get yourself in some serious trouble okay okay so we're at the last and we are at the 12th house and it is the house of surrender the house of surrender is the house of the capricorn um this is the house of the capricorn and what you have here is the energy of the sagittarian the voyager so um a lot of you could be traveling a lot of you are moving forward but it, it is as if um whatever is happening is, is lucky if you're deciding to travel you're going to be very lucky um wherever you're going if you're deciding to move I'm very happy if you surrender and decide to choose something else go another part in your life it's going to be good because the Capricorns are going to be there to support you and back you in every way they can okay so this is basically wonderful because um, if you are going in business go in business with a cup of calm because this is going to be good because this is a voyage of transition this is the voice of you making decision to make changes in your life whether it's in business work or relationship Go with a Capricorn it's gonna be good you are with the Sagittarians in the 12 house of the Capricorn this is luck for you guys go with it Wow okay so let's look at the Sun people because it's um we have the Sun and moon people and as I've um, said um, it's changed because of the 12 houses in your birth chart so we're just going to be looking at the sun the moon the ascendance which is the outlook how you look at life the north node which is the descendants and then the unexpected the unexpected is whoever is working with energies behind that you're not seeing okay so you want a sign there it's just a lot that is coming up and this is why i said yeah it's better to do a personal personalize okay Ooh okay for the Sun people you're just gonna let things go as it's as if, it, if you were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um, for you guys between the 15th of June and the 15th of thing you're just gonna let things go you're just gonna go with the flow you're just gonna allow things to just you know let the puzzles drop where it is so um, letting go is the best thing to do don't push against um, don't push really don't push against the flow okay you just have to let things go you have to let things fall in place don't push against the flow because if you do that and this is only for the people who were born um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. you are the Sun sign people um, let it go just let the chips fall okay you can't push against the flow now for the moon people you're more emotional you're um, it's all about the feelings 
emotions it's all about the feelings but it is the opposition of balance okay so a lot of you need to look yourself in the mirror a lot of you need to confront issues a lot of you need to manifest things a lot of you need to be disciplined a lot of you need to have confidence and that sort of a thing so it's um, it's about the opposition of balance okay and the opposition of balance is always when we confront ourselves and we look at things and that's when we look at relationships and we know whether or not relationships are working for us or it's not working for us or we know that something is working or something isn't working so it's about so you people that is born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning um, you're going to be confronting yourself basically look in the mirror to see what works for you what doesn't work for you what should you do which direction should you move in as we look at the ascendance the ascendance is the outlook of life how do we look at things in life um, are we expressing ourselves in uh, what is the world view how we look at things okay and you have tune in to the flow which is just so good because it's about enriching yourself enriching your belief it's about the energizing of you know wonderful positive energies that is going to be coming in so this is actually beautiful this is like the ascendance is like okay I am not really worried about what people think about me or how the world view me or how I view the world but I'm just going with the flow so you never fight against you just take it one day at a time you just go with the flow you just understand who you are um, you're just so powerful because you're bringing out just positive energies around you so this is just so nice and so wonderful so you know congratulations you want a sign because it is it is just going to be beautiful the north node is coming up and the energy of the north node is always about your destiny it's what was destined to happen so it's not as if you or um, each and every person write their script okay so it's as if okay it's my 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 soul lesson it's uh, the direction I choose to go it's where I feel fulfilled it's what I want to do so your north node your true north node is where you choose to be at whatever time in your life and between the 15th of june and 5th and the 15th of july you're going to be sex styling a lot of opportunities so you water signs a lot of opportunities are going to be happening for you a lot of doors are going to be opening up for you if you are uh if you have virgo or um, the earth signs in your birth chart like ascendance or north node you're going to receive a lot of opportunities are going to be coming to you and these opportunities are destined for for you to receive you know it's as if opportunities come and they go but you're going to be all the opportunities that comes to you you're going to be um, holding on to them and you're going to be going um, using them to make your life much better because you're going to be financially successful okay so that is actually good when opportunities comes up when in somebody's north node because your north node is basically what was destined for you to happen so um example for um the north node is okay so you were born someplace but you went someplace and you lived someplace and then you return back to the same place is that you were destined to do all of this you were destined to go someplace you were destined to do this work you were destined to work at this company because that is your true note note okay and the last energy that we have is the neuron and that is the mystery of the universe okay so um this is the unknown what will happen unknown this is where the cosmos meet this is the psychic ability like my psychic ability um um that something unexpectedly um would transpire okay um it's like the ghost um, it's the other world so it's the unseen world so what is going to be happening in the unseen world and we have the conjunction or the square 
we have the conjunction of enlightenment so this is actually basically good for you water sign because you are so intuition your intuition is always on target and um, it's like the unseen world um, and this is where um, the magic meets you know like some people see say luck uh, is there luck it's like the unseen you're not aware of what is working behind the veil only if you are a psychic and only if you're a channeler only if you can see beyond the illusion and this is very good because what is going to be happening is that whenever you have the empowerment the conjunction of empowerment is basically that you're going to be connecting with your spirit guides and guided angels and light beams in the form of the spirit world the unseen world which um, some people could connect with them um, in the daytime or the dream time and some people can connect with them in the night time so wonderful energies that you guys um, finished with now I gotta go so I will talk to you guys leave me a message as you always do and I'm sorry I can't go through all of the messages that you guys leave I just send you a heart because there's so many messages it's crazy to see sometimes I have like 200 messages and I can't go through all of these messages so um, I want to say thank you so much please like and share and I will speak to you guys pick up the on demand the on demand for May and June is free so pick that up and um, the on demand for this is gonna cost another hour so I will talk to you guys love you um, water sign people and um, enjoy I, I, it's actually one of the best um, for you water sign because it wasn't that good for the air sign namaste